Today on the bench, we have the Ego 56 volt lithium, the 2.5 amp hour battery. I do like the Ego system. It's got a really good battery. I've had good luck with it. Um, unfortunately, this one, uh, less than six months old, has developed a problem. It's uh, blinking, blinking the green indicator on the LED constantly. It will even drain the battery. So uh, I thought we'd just open it up. Take a look at it. So let's get inside of it. the electronics all sealed and potted very very well there we go it's the bottom coming off without even prying you have to get my screwdriver out so far there we go I really like how, as far as the heat goes, vented very well for cooling, where the charging or being discharged. Same way on the other side of the connector side of the battery. I really like the rigid construction of the battery. Now for the good stuff. I'm going to take this connector off so we can get this top plate or bottom plate rather out of the way. Close at the connector. Lots of good grease on there. High current, potted very well. Now take a look at all the individual cell monitoring circuitry going back to the to the fully potted monitor, which is unfortunately what I'm having some issues with. It's, it's warm right now, which I, so I hadn't been real long putting the charger so it would, wouldn't show red when I pushed the button. It was still charged, discharged somewhat, but just sitting there over time 
it'll just go back to blinking and to blink constantly. So it's unfortunately will drain the battery. I don't know if it's any other major issue other than just that. But I just thought we'd check individual cells and see what we see. Dark lithium's interesting in the way that they have the sleeve over the battery. Look at there, that will slide apart. Take that battery out of the battery, or positive battery wire out of the hook. And look at there, you can get to the cells to check them. I'm gonna try my best not to let any cells touch there. That will be exciting. See if we can get into the individual cells and see if there's a, since it's blinking green, I wouldn't have thought it'd be a cell failure. Do you think it would show red? So it may just be in the internal potted electronics. But at least we'll see what condition the cells are. Really nice cells, so we'll get into this. Let me make sure I can see the screen on camera. Here we go, we'll go through 3.47. Looking for a main difference. Boy, they're all so close so far. Okay. Get a connection there. There we go. Sometimes I'm touching this actual potting compound or something of that nature, which actually I can just get down. That's actually a good sign. All the cells, I believe, are, are fine, or they wouldn't actually show that close. Look at the technique here. There's um. So there's 14, 14 actual cells. They give you the 56 volts. So the good news is they give you all that power, at least in the, in the 2.5 amp hour, the smaller, well, it's not the smallest, I guess the 2.0 is the smallest, but the 2.5 just being, I guess, a higher capacity individual cell same actual physical size I believe so yeah that's good glad to see that uh, the sales are in good shape showing right at 48 volts which 3.45 so there you go. I just wanted to mention that I waited for a while and came back just to see 
but I still feel the warmth in this potted uh, circuit board. I don't have a nice thermal camera, excuse the crudity, but you can definitely tell from ambient At some points over 20 degrees above ambient so really over 30 in some places so there's definitely something going on making that LED blink and possibly a transistor or something shorted the reason it's getting so warm that LED itself you wouldn't think with a draw enough current to actually make the circuitry that warm but while we're talking about thermal uh, it, it's worth mentioning that these batteries the reason these cells are covered in this ring like they are this sleeve if you will I've read, uh, it was very interesting to me before I bought an Ego product, I read that, that these use latent heat, like a, basically a state changing, almost like think about solder, if you will. Um, take your basic solder that takes so much heat to make it change from a solid to a, to a molted liquid, but in this case, if it's true what they said, then these sleeves absorb a lot of the heat from the battery, which should help the cells tremendously. If you know about latent heat, then uh, it's a lot of thermal energy that it can absorb just by changing states and changing back. So at least in theory, that's a really, really good idea. Uh, I'm not sure some, someone's posted that Tesla has the same type of technology and I, and I don't know if that's true or not. But I was re very interested in these batteries, like I said, when I, when I read about that. And also the reason they call it the arc lithium, I'm assuming is the way that they, they do arrange their cells in an arc to help the flow. All the batteries get good flow. I know I've had a lot of issues. I don't want to list any names in particular, but there's a couple that I'm, I'm really kind of, disappointed with uh their, their batteries were just packed together i took them apart and noticed that i had fail uh cells several fail cells in them and i noticed that like 40 cells packed in one battery just to say that they had that much capacity or that much voltage but just the heat the heat alone killed the kill the cells just too much packed in a small area it seems so i was really really interested in these and i'm still very pleased man the tear down the quality of the building construction is amazing and i know they did this for moisture and uh the way it's fully potted and sit up on the wire entry and everything and the the button you can't tell it but it's got a clear silicone or vinyl cover on it that's sealed completely it's just an awesome design Unfortunately, this one had kind of a premature failure, but the, the pack still works and all the cells are good. So that's a great, a great thing. I'm not going to hold it against them on this one failure. Hopefully it was just a fluke. And I won't have any more issues with the other two that I have. I have one that came with the string trimmer, which is this one. And I also have a blower and a hedge trimmer that um, all do work really well with the 56 volt. And, and the battery does really hold up well, so... At this point, I'm just going to put it back together. So there you go, it's back together. 
So if, if anybody else out there has any ideas or has figured out the, uh, the green blink without getting into the electronics being potted, uh, please post it down below. Let us know. Um, I'd hate to see the battery's usefulness, uh, you know, go away just because of that, that one issue that may be, may be common, may not be. But um, since the actual cells themselves uh, still got so much life left, so if you got any ideas, please post them down below. Um, you know, one thing I should mention at the end of this video is the fact that I left out earlier. I did call Ego just to say for for their customer support and all. I did call them and tell them about the issue with this battery. It's got a three-year warranty on the battery so it's only been less than six months so they did not give me any problems at all they they just um it was registered a copy of the receipt a photo of the receipt was actually on file so when you register the unit just do that and they actually said no problem they're going to send one out within five to seven days so i'm awaiting it now it should it should be here in a few days now so I did want to say that after after talking about the issue, they did make it good. They said to take the serial number off the battery and to recycle it. So that's why I decided to take it apart. So hopefully you uh, you enjoyed the tear down and look inside the uh, the Ego 56 volt arc lithium battery. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and thanks for watching.